So we're in the new Maserati Levante Trofeo. To get to know a car well, you should take it on an adventure. So myself and my colleague Mark Turner are driving this Maserati up to visit the Great North Air Ambulance Service Helicopter Rescue for a two-day extravaganza of training, tactical emergency simulation and terrorist attack. The Levante Trofeo is the top of the range Maserati SUV with a Ferrari engine lifted from the Portofino and Roma. A 3.8 litre twin turbo V8 with a stonking 580 horsepower that does 0 to 62 miles per hour in 4.1 seconds and a top speed of 187. The Maserati is a fabulous looking animalistic beast, particularly in the Rosso Magma. A sparkling red paint with an exceptional luminous gloss finish that truly stands out. That will set you back a whopping extra £15,895. The waist is fluted with high muscular wheel arches that complement the sinusoidal side window and the chunky rear. The carbon fibre sills and 22 inch rims are a nice touch too. You can raise the body of this SUV by 3.5 centimetres for off-road capability. But who would be crazy enough to take a Maserati with a Ferrari engine off-road? Well, we tested it across fields and ruts. To cut a long story short, the Maserati behaves like a Formula One car jacked up for trouble. The 8-speed gearbox not only performs well on the road, but is smooth and light with fine granular control off-road. This is Maserati's most pr powerful production car ever. The interior is low-key with carbon fibre touches everywhere. A soft explosion of charcoal leather cowhide with red contrast stitching. An understated interior with gravitas. The clock and infotainment are pleasant on the eye and fit well in the dashboard. Overall, the layout and design are excellent, well thought out, minimalist and solid. The back seats are plush and comfortable and you feel special, vital in an Italian SUV. Plus there's ample boot space, 580 litres, for the hunters, skiers, fishers and water sports enthusiasts out there. On the road, the Maserati is a joy. It handles that Ferrari V8 with extraordinary style. The software keeps you in rear-wheel drive under normal conditions and will spread the torque evenly across the front and rear when needed. There is far less roll than you would expect and the predictive vehicle control enables you to speed in and out of corners with distinct non-SUV capability. You forget this is an SUV at all. It behaves more like a hot hatchback. Stay in normal mode for luxury cruising and switch into Corsa or Sport mode when you want to hear that engine roar and benefit from all its lovely torque. Corsa mode bumps up the revs, stiffens the suspension, lowers the car 3.5 centimeters and ramps up the brakes. The ride is genuinely engaging, fun and powerful. A super fast luxury SUV that is refined for long touring that you can also take off road. The Maserati Levante Trofeo starts at 123,000 and our models with extras came to 149,610 pounds. After a brilliant and luxurious drive up the night before, we spent the morning at the Great North Air Ambulance headquarters with the incredible team of paramedics and doctors who showed us around the helicopter and state-of-the-art headquarters. Whilst we've been shown a video of a thoracotomy, which is open heart surgery generally done on the street, an emergency call came in, the team scrambled and the helicopter flew off. Then we jumped back into the Maserati to follow Operations Director Andy Mawson as he escorted us off to the fire station where the first emergency accident reenactment was occurring. The scene on our arrival was incredible. The fire brigade, transport police, emergency services, paramedics, wounded, car wrecks piled everywhere, and even a horse. Paramedics went about saving lives, performing thoracotomies, resuscitating babies, giving blood transfusions, 
all under the watchful eye of their instructors. This was the day reenactment. Later on will come the nighttime session where a lot more obstacles and challenges will be put in the paramedics way. As the light faded and the day grew to a close, the paramedics were given a break while a new setup was arranged. Paramedics need to perform miracles in the most exacting circumstances at night, in the rain, and be patient and calm in a wide range of situations. So a car club was brought in to simulate the kind of distractions they would often face in the real world. The car club played loud music, filming the paramedics whilst they tried to save lives and even arguing and attacking them. This is a thoracotomy or open heart surgery performed on the street, sometimes the only way to save someone's life. Next morning we shared in the paramedics ballistics training course where they learned to recognize the damage done to the human body by different types of ammunition and firearms. Then it was the full on MTA or marauding terrorist attack at Northumbria Police Tactical Training Centre. Here the paramedics were being trained to quickly save lives in the event of an attack with knives, guns and bombs. Again they were being tested with distractions which they had to ignore and focus on saving those that could be saved. Whilst this has been a light-hearted look at the training the Great North Air Ambulance provides to paramedics, it was an invaluable insight into just how important their work is. Those we met at GNAS are the most highly trained, professional and caring people I have ever met. They perform miracles in the most extreme conditions and circumstances, saving lives every day. The word hero is banded about too often, but they are the real thing. They receive no money whatsoever from the government and raise all funds themselves. Please do go to their website and give whatever you can or take part in fundraising to help them save more lives. <laughs>